All right, so let's take a look if we can create a JavaFX project using the Java JDK version 14 and JavaFX version 14 or greater. All right, so let's. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and get the JavaFX SDK using the IntelliJ tutorial page. So we could normally get 11, but let's see if we can find the latest release. Oh, look, we can get um, version 15. Let's do that. Let's get version 15. So it's there, SDK for Mac OS. So I'm going to download it. All right, so it's almost downloaded. And then I need to create a uh, desktop copy. It's just downloading, it's almost done. There it is. Okay, so we can see it right there. So I'm going to take a look. Yeah, there it is. So I'm going to copy it. And let's go into Documents. Java. All right. So I've now got a Java folder off of my Documents my documents uh, main folder in my user directory. I'm going to paste in Java FX SDK 15 right there. Okay. And um, so now I'm going to go back to the instructions over here. And make sure that, uh, let's see, we're going to go in here, we're going to create a new project. New project. So looking to see where it pops up. There it is. Okay. So we're going to use Java 14. So this is the SDK for Java. Oops, hold on. Go back here. So normally it would be Java like this. We choose Java FX instead. So this is a simple Java FX 2.0 application. Next, we're going to call it Java FX, oops, and um, version 15 of the uh, SDK test one. I'm going to call it like that. Okay, no underscores. All right, now we're going to do this window. Right here, so just uh, we're going to replace whatever window was or whatever project I was working on before. Now it says make sure the JavaFX plugin is enabled. So in the settings preference dialog, where's settings preference? Ah, up here. Uh, it's in one way for Windows, a different way for Mac OS. There's preferences right there. Looking to see where that pops up. Ah, there we go. And I want to go into plugins. Where's plugins? Right there. It's loading. Still loading. Gen okay, there it is right there. JavaFX is bundled. It's on, so we're good. Okay, so that framework is in, so we hit OK. Next, create a new project. We've done that. From the project SDK menu, select the SDK of the project you want. We've got it already, so we don't have to install a new JDK. We're going to choose JavaFX. Yep, and we'll finish. Um, and we found it, so add the JavaFX Java library. These actions are required if you use Java 11 or later. And we are, we're using Java 14. So here we go. So we want to go to File, Project Structure. Okay, so we go File, Project Structure, and we're going to go to Libraries, right there. Okay, and it says, uh, hit the plus, select Java. So we go plus, Java. OK, 
Okay, and I have to specify the path to the library. So it's uh, documents. Java, that one, lib, open. Yes, we're going to add it to that module. We say OK. All right, that's in. So open the library is done. Specify the path. In the Choose Modules dialog, select the necessary, necessary module and click OK. So we've done that. Apply the changes and close the project structure dialog. I think we're done. Okay, so we go OK like that and now I need to do the VM options. Select Run Edit Configurations. Run. Uh, oh, it's not ready yet. Okay, hold on. So I have to go down in here. source, sample, main. Let's try that again. Run. No, nope, can't do that. Let's do compile. So down here we can see it. Compiling. Build, build, build. So it's still building. My computer's a little slow. So it's still building. Almost there. All right, it's built. So let's see if we can do run. There we go, edit configurations right there. Now VM options is right here. Now we're using the Java FX 15. So, it says here, if you're using Java FX SDK 14 together with OpenJDK 14, so we're using 15, so I'm assuming it's the same thing. Add one more VM option. Oh, we added two VM options. Okay, so we go like this. All right, so we'll go like that. Okay. Now, that's going to be users, uh, J. Smith, like that. And then it's going to be documents. And it's going to be Java. Yep. Now, I wonder if I just do that. Because say just the SDK, not the library. Oh no, here we go. And there it's the lib. Okay, so then I gotta put lib at the end of that. So I go slash lib like that. And then we got all of that tacked on. Okay, and then it says, if you're using Java FX SDK 14 together with OpenJDK 14, add one more VM option. So let's copy that right there. And then paste like that. Is there anything else? All right, I think that's it. So go OK. Click on main right here. I'm going to hit uh, compile one more time. Just make sure that it does still compile. It should. I didn't really change anything on the compile side of things. Still compiling.
Still going. Done. Okay, so it didn't it didn't barf up any errors. Let's try and run it. And all this should do is create a window that says hello world on it. That's all it's supposed to do here. Nothing complicated. And I see that little Java thing open up. Yes, it looks like it's working. And yes, it worked. So um, we've set up a Java FX version 15. So sort of the leading edge kind of uh, edition of Java FX. It's working uh, from scratch. A little hello world application. Now, now we could we could do something that isn't just this. We could do something with a graph or, or buttons and things like that. But but it works. And uh, so this is the test under Mac OS. Mm -hmm.